Dear friends in Christ, I want to invite us all to share in an observance of a Holy Lent. And today specifically, I want to talk about the Feast of Lent. And what I mean by that is not the fast of Lent, but the Feast of Lent. Lent is an important time in our spiritual journey and in our church year. It is an invitation to recharge our batteries, to refresh our souls and recommit ourselves to our spiritual journey. In order to talk about this, I'd like to use one of our favorite tools, which is the acronym L-E-N-T. L stands for listen, listening with a heart of love, listening to people whose stories we think we already know, listening to the stranger we meet in the coffee shop or a friend, listening to people who may have differences of opinions that are significant from ours, listening with our deep hearts and our deep souls. The second part of the acronym is ENGAGE. This is a great time to really think about how we're engaging in community, community of friends and family, church community, agape meal community, communities at work, communities that we, we may be finding in all kinds of places. When we engage in community, we have an opportunity to learn about what it is to give and receive love. We learn about what it is to really appreciate those who are around us and enjoy the deep humanity that we share. For N, I want to talk more personally about nurturing our souls. This is a time where we can spend time reflecting taking big, long walks, hiking, sitting in an armchair, but really paying attention to scripture, paying to attention to reflective readings, and spending some time really enjoying God's creation that is put there for our enjoyment and to nurture us and nourish us for the journey ahead. And finally, T. T is about taking time. The Lenten journey is one that cannot be rushed. It's one that takes us away from our busyness and the chaos that may ensue around us and takes us to a place where we can slow down, appreciate, so that we can listen, so that we can engage, so that we can find nurture and nourishment. I do encourage you to take this time to feast on Lent and enjoy your spiritual journey.